The Lewis structure of iron to chloride has iron, which is a metal, on the left side of this staircase on the periodic table, bonding with chlorine, a non-metal, from the right-hand side of the periodic table. When you have a metal and a non-metal bonding, it is an ionic bond, and that means that there is a transfer of electrons from the metal to the non-metal, not a sharing like there is for covalent compounds. Iron here will end up with a charge of positive two. It says so right there, and if you have the formula, it says so as the superscript or subscript on chlorine. So I want you to draw yourself an iron atom with that many electrons. You're going to lose those two electrons, and that's what's going to give it the positive two charge. Now I'm also going to draw a chlorine atom. Chlorine comes from group 17 on the periodic table. It brings seven valence electrons with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. And the process here is that iron, the metal, gives its electrons away to the non-metal. Now, this one electron will complete the octet on this chlorine, but where's the other electron going to go? The answer is another chlorine atom with its seven valence electrons appears from the wild, and iron's second electron is donated there. That's why the formula is FeCl2, because you need two chlorines to absorb the two electrons from this iron, and that's because each of the chlorines can only accept one electron each. They already have seven, and to complete the octet is only one more extra. The completed Lewis structure here will show the Fe atom without its two electrons and a corresponding positive two charge because it lost two negative charges, and two chlorine atoms with an extra electron each that actually makes them chloride ions. Notice we have our seven original electrons plus the one extra from iron, and that gets a minus one charge. I like putting my other chlorine on the other side, showing some amount of symmetry here. And there is your completed Lewis structure. FeCl2, there's one Fe, there's two Cls. You got your charge on your Fe, your charges on your chlorine, and the same number of electrons in the final structure as we had in the originals. It's a beautiful thing, just like you are, my friends. Best of luck.